Good morning, girls. Back here again with Amber Lynn Reed. This one is buying moving supplies, Home Depot, and Walmart shopping, and therapy update. Fantastic. So many answers. I really do appreciate it. Home Depot, I do believe, actually, unlike Trader Joe's, is like a DIY home goods store. So, you know what? Maybe she's going to do some DIY. My girlfriend will be confused again. Uh, buying moving supplies. Wow. <laughs> like, well, I'm so glad we're going to get to see you buy some cardboard boxes or something like that. It's going to be a fascinating roller coaster adventure here. Therapy update. I would love, do you know what I would love if the update was just like, yeah, I'm still not doing it, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck yes. And she just like rode off into the sunset on her fucking mobility skater or something like that. Uh, can't wait. Uh, she's probably going to talk about like therapy. Oh, yeah. I've been talking about my breakup a lot. And she, they've been telling me that she's a fucking bitch for leaving me or something like that. Let's go. Hello. Hello. So, oh, the moon's still I'm wearing here. the same dress as I was wearing yeah, no, uh, yesterday because I slept in it. Like I said. I'm having some bad habits. And yeah, do you know what? I'm so glad you ended the last video with like a fucking 300 fucking hour long debate about how you're the most independent woman who, who don't need no man. Uh, and now, now you're sitting going like, yeah, guys, do you know what? I basically just collapsed in my fucking dress last night and <laughs> just slept in it. And that is one of them. Oh, should Where we have the bed like, is I don't know. Everything just feels really hard right now. And Are, are we going to start every vlog and end every vlog with, like like this? For the for like the the near future, because bro, I'm gonna spoil it for you. I don't give a shit. Nothing. It feels Nothing like it matters. matters. Like, oh my oh. god, I called it. Hundred percent, I fucking called it. Champion. Fuck yeah. Cringe. Unbearable. Fucking cringe. Nothing matters, guys. My girlfriend broke up. I mean, we mutually agreed to separate, and we're both totally okay with it, and there's no drama. However, nothing matters, and the world is bleak. <laughs> Bro, do you want to pick one? Just, uh, just one. I would, I would be more than happy if you just picked one story and kind of ran with it. Changing into a uh, PJ. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I also don't. <laughs> but care. I wanted to wake up today and just like. I did. Do you know what? I was debatable if I wanted you to wake up today. <laughs> Does that mean? Does that mean? <laughs> oh my god! I wanted to wake up today and stare into the dark. Abyss of my future without my wifey, wifey girlfriend, uh, Feline. <laughs> ah, ah, what a, what a, what a start. Do you know what? I'm sure when people come to, like, a, a lifestyle vlogger, they really want someone sitting in bed going, Oh, yeah, it could be fucking out of my fucking dress. A oh, fucking girlfriend's fucking left me, so he fucking whatever. He fucking cares, guys. That's, I'm sure that's what people come for. It's not like every lifestyle vlog and I see, like, like a thumbnail is always like, Yay, I'm so happy! And, like, portraying, like, a fake happiness that people seem to enjoy watching. And now we just have her here just fucking mumbling miserably. <laughs> Finally take care of myself again. Have you ever? And that's why we're gonna do, like... You know, a weigh in. Oh, uh, do you know what? You're so independent that you can't hold your camera for more than forty seconds without having to change arm. That's how. That's how much you don't need to care. Is you have the physical strength to hold a, a fucking like one kilogram camera for forty seconds at most. And I have therapy today. I'm excited. And I'm really excited for all that. Um, I've also... been awake for a little bit. I just I don't know. I'm kind of dreading getting out of bed. <laughs> There's no drama, guys. But getting out of bed is hard because the world is bleak. <laughs> oh my god. Just get out of fucking bed. I, I, I ban you from talking about this at the start of every one of your fucking vlogs the next couple of weeks. I've made some important phone calls. Already? Um, I'm sure. We have Twinkie. Oh. Me and a sw oh, sweet. Are we going to exploit that dog anymore? I can't wait. I really hope we do. Wait. Uh-huh. Hi. See, see, you know what I said, okay? I didn't show it, okay? Obviously, because I, I'm not the type of person to show a dog potentially in pain for exploitation reasons. I'm not sure why I'm circling a, a, a large fucking chunky arm over here. Um, this is exact same pose the dog was in previously when she was like, oh my god, he's in so much pain. That She, she looks like she's in so much pain. It's exactly the same like Exact same position. Exact same position. That's why I just feel that it, it was just just pure, oh my god. Feel sorry for me. Oh my god, Twinkie's in trouble, guys. Ooh, woo. Look after me. Help me. I'm such a nice pet owner, though. Look at me. I'm taking to emergency vets. Yeah. It's just weird to have the whole bed to myself. But yeah, I haven't had therapy. It's probably the one time you've ever fit in that fucking bed. Can you just not? And, uh, it's been some weeks, so... My therapist is about to learn a lot has gone down because oh, my therapist sure doesn't know that I am not getting weight loss surgery anymore. My uh -huh. therapist doesn't know about the breakup. How would your therapist not know that if 
they are part of your weight loss surgery team. Did your dietitian like keep it to themselves? What are we talking? Bro, the, the therapist is part of the weight loss surgery team because they're the one who were you were mandated to go to because of the weight loss surgery. And they were the one who then give you the give the approval for you to have weight loss surgery. But they, they did your dietitian keep it? Does the surgeon know? Has a dietitian passed the message on to the surgeon? Does anyone know about the dietitian? Good work fucking your entire own story there. Like about me moving like a lot. So it's wow. going to be like kind of a... A big appointment. I'm sure, um, I'm sure, I'm sure, because you previously talked about the parent naughty touching. We, we shall say when you were a child. We apparently you, you covered all of that, but it's going to be a big appointment today, guys, because I'm going to tell them that I'm going to move house, and me and my girlfriend mutually agreed to break up. Apparently, yeah, it's got God. It's going to be such a hard appointment. Really big update. Word vomit. Probably a lot of tears, but I like to do my makeup for therapy because. <laughs> They have to stare at my face Love all day, tears. and I know she she be ugly. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah I'm gonna get up. I'm, I'm glad there's a tiny sliver of self realization there. Now and go shower. I was gonna say I don't ever think makeup really helps your face. We'll tell in a second here when we see it. But makeup can't fix that. The whole like polishing a turd argument is like real. Or and get ready for the day. Yep. Let's and go. Get up. Myself. Full energy. I have a feeling I'm, Let's go. I've gained some plus weight, ultra. So I just feel it. My lymphedema feels like. Oh. My lymphedema is reacting to me breaking up my girlfriend. It's like, ah, we're angry. We're we're holding extra moisture because we're angry. Fuck off. <laughs> Stop making the lymphedema seem like it's a fucking sentient being that's fucking with you. Swollen and hard, oh and god. I'm just retaining so much water. Oh my god! Like, like I've so had much so much water? sodium. Like so much sodium. So. Oh my god. So I just got done. Oh. Uh, crying. I had it on pause act because I was about to say thanks for just showing us this fucking window and I heard the crap and I was like, oh my god, she's saying crying. <laughs> just, every time. Every time. I, I, we, we, the, the therapy appointment must have been real, guys, because she never cries at any other point in her existence apart from therapy. I'm being sad while doing my butterfly. makeup. Butterfly. And then I look out by the window and oh there's just god. this butterfly. Oh my god. Life is real and beautiful. It's like the end of Persona 3, or the fucking Sasuke Retrieval arc in Naruto. It's a butterfly, guys. That means spirits and souls pass on and bullshit like that, I guess. Just being beautiful, and I've never seen oh. a butterfly Doesn't like being right filmed. there, ever. Wow. It closed its wings. What does that mean? Is it okay? It's still there. Is it okay? I don't know. Maybe you should film it and exploit it and say, say you're going to take it to the emergency vet because you're worried about it and then add that to the title. Maybe emergency vet part two because this butterfly closes his wings when you fucking stared at it. That guy right there, but I always heard you that. You know why butterflies open their wings? <laughs> Here for a mean one again. Butterflies open their wings because they try to look bigger and look scarier and they, that's why you usually have a pattern on their wings is to try and look like a big Arl's face or something like that. Maybe I just looked at her and was like, geez, I ain't competing with that. <laughs> I ain't competing with that. I want to look as small as possible so she doesn't go like, mm, that looks like a big meal. <laughs> oh, fuck. <That's... laughs> Why? I don't, even, I don't even know where some of these fucking come from. I just start talking and see what happens. That butterflies are good luck. I don't know. Yeah, sure. So I want to give you guys a... Oh my God. You look like a fucking nightmare. You look like fucking you fell straight out of the Suicide Squad. That's a fucking terrible look. I haven't even looked up here yet. Like the, like I said earlier on, the fucking the makeup don't do much. But this top, not a fan. A update on my oh, wow. building. Oh, really wow. not a good look. Uh, oh, my God. Are we going to get a fucking Lego update, guys? Do you know what? Let's go. Let, do you know what? No more negative Nancys. We're not getting very good content from her whatsoever because we're getting the whole life is bleak shit. But she's going to invite us into her Lego house. So we're all going to appreciate it. All everyone, sit down and fucking shut up. We're going to enjoy this. Of Legos, wannabe Legos. Show me. So I did this one. Ugh, this what the fuck. This is a bear house. I, I yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what that checks out? There is a bear in that house. There's a bear on that thing. There's bears there, and it says bear, and there's a bear there. That really checks out. Um, beautiful. It looks like a, it's like a really uncomfortable butt plug. There is like this is like a collectible, not a collectible, but there's like a collection. Sure, it's not a collectible. You can do, which I think I'm low key gonna do it. Didn't you get like the the Jurassic Park Lego set? Like at what point during like all, all this time scale of like from like now to the start of the year? When the fuck did the Jurassic Park thing actually get fucking bought? Hey, Squeaker. Squeaker's here. Hi. Hey, come on. 
You're just being an awkward little shit house tonight, ain't you? <laughs> You're an awkward little shit. He's not getting up. He's just squeaking. He's just squeaking. We'll continue on. Like, you could do all of these. It's called a city corner. Okay. So, I say, you know what? I'm going to get every single one of these and do them. So I can't, I can't wait. Why is this? Why is she acting like this is like groundbreaking news to her that there are th things that come in sets? This is like, yeah, th there actually are. And then not only did I do that one. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I did this one. Oh my God. It's uh, what the fuck is it? Like a bachelor pad? <laughs> like a bachelor pad? It looks like the house from fucking, not Spy Family. What's the other one? Buddy Daddies? Buddy Daddies? A lot of other anime? There's a lot of anime references coming tonight because I've been watching some anime. Which is like a house here. You have a bedroom. You have yep. your... It looks like a house. Um, bathrooms in there. There's like a tub. Oh my god, there's there's her office with her standing table. <laughs> that's where she films her content. And that's a cat that she accidentally sat on at one point. <laughs> There's a little office area, oh entertainment area. The kitchen is way back in there. Oh my god. Um, Some stairs. Like the whole nine. So... This is we're, we're struggling here. This is, this is like 17 minutes long. Like, you easily got the fucking mid rolls in. But why are we struggling for content so hard? Oh, that one was super fun. Oh, and then got another one? I did this one. It's just like a little... You know what? I guess it is a better thing for her to be making lots of shitty Legos. As opposed to getting high as fuck constantly. Office living room okay. area. With easels. Normally. I really enjoy doing these. Well, that's the fucking close you've been to a treadmill. <laughs> These ones are so fun. <laughs> Last but not least. Oh my god, there's so many. I finished the Jurassic Park one. Oh. So, uh, you didn't finish the, the Jurassic Park one. That is like a car. I don't know. That was a real scam. And you literally only got one car in that entire box set. I dropped this last night. Oh, no, rip. Yeah, I did. Because um, I had it set up on this. Okay. This guy right here. He's a big boy. Has been. Oh, you have finished it. So annoying. What? Um, it's mean? a dinosaur. Steppy. It's a dinosaur? Oh, I see it now. <laughs> it's a dinosaur with the moon rising in the background. Oh shit, not a fist. <laughs> oh God, fuck. <laughs> just, I don't know, guys, I don't know what's come over me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, just, I don't feel like we need that explained that that's a dinosaur. On an upside down car. Oh, it, that's an upside down car. Oh, that's wheels. Oh, bro, <laughs> please do. just, come on. <laughs> like I'm not stupid. And you're supposed to have this sitting here, yep. and it rolled off. Oh and my god! It broke, so I had to re-put that together, and then the. Oh my god! It like fell and broke. Maybe it's because you like shouldn't be moving it when it's not like fixed to the grind. Maybe you should just like put it somewhere and then put it up. Dinosaur has also fallen, and I had to oh fix no. that, which was super annoying. But regardless, I love Jurassic Park, so this was a fun experience. But putting together <laughs> the dinosaur, it wasn't uh, my favorite, but. God, imagine, imagine she's doing this to try and get over her girlfriend, dumping her, I mean, sorry, her, her mutual breakup with her girlfriend, and then she's like, that falls off, and she's like, fuck, and then the dinosaur falls off, she just like fucking yeets it across the room, she just like throws a dinosaur fucking Feline's head or something like that. Yeah, this is crazy big. Is um, I'm actually really? going to be- Bro, you built a Titanic and then sold it afterwards, but you like built a Titanic. This, this is small fries compared to that selling because as you know moving yeah. um i'm gonna be selling some of the legos that i've already completed oh, no. i didn't even know that there was a place um in the city are you gonna are you gonna sign them and sell them to your fan base because that would be quite funny i think people actually might buy them i don't fucking know that i live that buys used legos i did not know because i've been giving all my legos away like thousands of dollars of legos to goodwill uh so no you sold the titanic one like people like showed like the listing and all like and showed that she sold it so like why is she acting surprised that you can sell Lego? Uh, like, now she's pretending, oh no, I build them and then I give them away to the needy. It's like, well, no, clearly not. I'd be surprised if you even, like, give them away. I'd be surprised you just don't, like, fucking chuck them in the bin. So whoever got those from Goodwill, happy for you. Yeah, but sure, I believe you. I could have actually sold them. Okay. Um, I can't sell these, though, like, off-brand Lego. <laughs> uh, you, you, you could, like, you just have to, like, sell them as such. Like you, you literally can't. You can go on eBay and say like whatever brand it is, blah blah blah, and you could you could you could easily still sell it. People might not buy it because it's like probably not great quality, but you can still one hundred percent sell it. Want to be Lego? But I do have Legos that I do want to sell. Like I have a piano. Uh... Oh no, not a piano. It's weird. It's it's a weird mindset for me where she is acting like I am so nice because I've given thousands upon thousands of dollars of Lego to Goodwill. Ah, oh, but I could.
could have sold them. It's like, that really takes away from you're such like a generous giving heart who just likes to donate for people. And like, oh yeah, I go to the Dollar Tree all the time and buy a whole bunch of stuff and give it to the homeless people. But now you're like begrudged that you like give your Lego away for free, apparently, and didn't sell them for profits. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a bad look, bro. Um, I have two typewriters, so I want to sell one of those. Wow. Obviously, I want to sell this Jurassic Park one. For me... Obviously, I want to sell this Jurassic Park one. You know the one I literally just bought, like, three videos ago. I obviously... Obviously, guys, I want to sell it. Duh. No, because, like, it's not obvious. A lot of people, like, buy stuff because they like it and they want to display it. And she said, like... I immediately look, because I don't really do Lego, but I've got, like, a bunch of figures. And, like, I have them and I display them because I like them. And I build, like... Gundam and like shit like that and I build them and like paint them up and stuff like that and I just like display them I don't like build them and then it's like ah oh, fuck it chuck tend to chuck in the bin like I'm sure some people get them just for the, the the building which is obviously fine you do your hobby however the fuck you want I'm not the hobby police but I don't know I just don't think it's obvious that you want to sell something you just bought it's not about like if I had like a big house, an extra room, I would keep all my Legos in there completed like I have done so many Legos in my lifetime I've gotten rid of yeah but why can't you you make like thousands upon thousands, potentially like five figures per month still on YouTube. So like, I don't know, you you could get like a decent size house pretty easily. Of all of them. But if I had like a bigger space or whatever, obviously I would have kept them. Um, but it's not really about keeping them per se, it's just doing them. It's just doing them, it's fun. So anyways, my- Just like the girlfriends, it's not, it's not about keeping them per se, it's about doing them. <laughs> Go for the easy ones, guys, every single time. My therapy is in a half an hour. No, 25 minutes. Wait, I thought you'd already done your therapy because that's when you said you showed us the window and said you cried. I thought I thought that was your way of telling us you'd already done the therapy, but I guess not, guys. Okay, never mind. And uh, I'm dreading that, so... Oh, again? Yeah. Okay, so I had my therapy. It cry? was a crying session, for sure. Every time. Every time. God, kill me fucking the potato Nostradamus. <laughs> It's just so fucking... We're, it's like, it's quaint at this point. It's like, okay, cool. You cried. Oh, did you cry? Cry, cool. Weird you can't cry on camera, but you cry fucking constantly and you just have to let us know. A lot, a lot of crying. A lot but of crying? Like loads I crying? really, really love my therapist. Uh -huh. And they Clearly. just made me see that, like... Mine and... <laughs> think of the story. Think it up. Think up, think up whatever you're going to say next. Think of, think, think of the lie. You should have had the script beforehand, but don't worry. Just stare in the distance and just think about what you want to say next. Bro, this is meant to be like a mutual breakup. I know I've said that 7,000 times and I'm probably going to drop it because it is so fucking blatantly obvious it is not a mutual breakup when she is apparently so fucking torn up about it. Kathleen's breakup was uh -huh. healthy. Clearly. Mutual, mature, Obviously. and that's what we both needed. All the buzzwords, just as many buzzwords as possible. It was triggering and gaslighting at the same time. It was just every, every buzzword, every buzzword that you can think of. It was, um, you know, uh, like dotting the I's and crossing the T's, guys. You know, it was the most adult relationship I've ever had. All that, you know, all that stuff. You know, just all, all, all the... All the things, even though she drunk herself into unconsciousness and I've been like eating edibles and binging constantly on food since then, even though I don't have binge eating disorder, you know, but it's been a really healthy breakup, guys. And I have to continue reminding myself of that because if I don't, then it's like, I just think of the amazing times with her. And uh -huh. when I do that, I'm like, am I making a mistake? Like, are we making a mistake? So sure. I have to continuously remind myself why I'm doing this, you know, like go back and look at journal entries and... Oh god, the bullet journaling will finally come in handy. Keep journaling, keep journaling, Amberlynn, Obviously, please yeah. keep doing it. Like, I love Feline with every part of me. Uh-huh. Every single part of me. I believe you. Oh, here we go. Guys, we're going. Come on. Come yeah, on. I need to go. <laughs> come on. Where's the tears? Because I'm like... You're literally just fresh from crying loads, apparently. It should be really easy for tears to come out here. Come on. I'm just really hurting right now. Let's go. I believe you. I'm just really fucking hurting. This oh shit comes in waves, and when it hits you... Does it? It hurts. There's nothing that hurts. It. Does it? Because you're, 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 I'm not, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing much here. I'm not seeing much here, guys. I'm like a fucking guy at the horse track being like, come on, number two. <laughs> Just, but nothing, nothing. I keep getting let down. Number two keeps falling on his fucking face the second he walks out of the block. It's bad. The sun is oh, no joke. God. And we, we have our AC on kind of high on 69. Aye, uh, yeah. Uh, 69, guys. Do you get it? That's a sex number. Some would say that's quite nice. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're a total strong, independent woman being driven around by your by your mom, wife, care, or something, whatever. But we have a few errands. Okay, hold we? on. 
Oh, that's better, that's better. So we're actually about to uh, go run a few errands. Uh -huh. My makeup is kind of sneering. <laughs> Feline's not even speaking. She's just sitting there like, okay. Oh, this is my life now. I noticed like halfway through therapy, I had like mascara running down right here and I didn't even notice. Yeah. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Clearly, I can, I can see the stain still. My therapist didn't say anything, of course not. But of, of course not, because it didn't fucking happen. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if her therapist just sits there going like, the fuck is she doing? Is she trying to cry? I wonder, oh my God, imagine if she is with her therapist the same as she is with us. And our therapist is just staring at her like, bro, come on. <laughs> like, come on. I'm a therapist. I don't, I don't, I, you, you don't need, you don't need to try this hard with me. I just, I know you're lying. But first place we're going to go to is Home Depot because okay. we're going to get just a couple boxes. The fuck is that noise? Oh, it's her fucking car. <laughs> I just immediately looked at my phone and be like, what the fuck is that? Are we getting like a, a, a warning a North Korean jet is overhead or something like that? The fuck? Just to get things moving. You gonna put on that seatbelt? Ding, ding, ding. I'm, this is, okay. Conspiracy theory, Mark 17. Everyone liked to make a joke. During the Desi thing, it was brought up about Amber couldn't wear seatbelts. Now suddenly we have Amber sitting here. She, she never films herself in the car at this angle recently, at, at the very least. Recently she hasn't. Usually she films out front, out through the window, uh, and takes a piss out of people for daring wanting to see her out, outside of the car. Now she's here in her seatbelt and saying to, and Feline suddenly isn't wearing a seatbelt and they draw attention to her not wearing a seatbelt. Like, come on. The, I, I said before, this relationship is like a box tick of every complaint against Amber all being pushed on Feline very suspiciously and very fucking weirdly. And here we are. Feline's not saying a fucking word. Maybe she'll speak in a second. I'll be blown the fuck out again. But like, this is this is actually kind of suspicious. We just pulled out, so. Y'all, there is a oh, guy nope, fishing nothing. in this little creek and that's not even a creek. I don't know what that is, a puddle? What? It looks like a river. What, are you just upset that he's closer to Panda Express than you are? What the fuck is your problem? Is it, I'm sorry, like, is the bro not allowed to do that? Like, why is she change? Okay, like, we get it every time that she has a girlfriend, she changes her personality based on her girlfriend. This is, like, a different personality. Now she's, like, filming at the window, like, just mocking random people. Like, bro, bro's allowed to, like, do, do, like, you're the one who, like, bitches and moans that people can't let you do your hobby. And the guy's out there, like, fly fishing or something like that, having a good time with his hobby. And you're, like, filming him and putting him on the internet to shit on him. What the fuck? Okay, sweet. I can't wait to shit all over your fucking Lego again. Uh, me and Feline were cracking up there. <laughs> so she's right, Feline's having. A, oh, I can hear her laughing. Oh, she's oh, she, so she's having a rip roaring good time. Oh, can, oh, Feline, quiet down. Stop laughing so loudly. Is Feline even there? Because we, we didn't even get to see an arm. Maybe this is like new wifey or something like that driving her around. Because like, what the Feline didn't hasn't made a sound this entire time. Home Depot. So we're about to head in. Oh, we were listening to the good bus. old, beautiful Lizzo. Truth hurts. Yeah, truth hurts. I, 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 I like I like American school bus designs. That's all I'm saying. All right, so here is the moving aisle. Yep, right beside wardrobe. the ceiling fans. I don't you know, know where you put them. Wardrobe boxes. Yeah. Should I get them? Yeah. Right, is that what you're going to be using too? Uh, yeah, it, it was like very deliberate you doing that. Like it was like, like it was like really obvious. Like you looked like you were like, should I get them? Deliberately pushing it out. Is that out. what you're going to be using too? Like you deliberately like pushed it out. It was like, like I, 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 this is what I said. Her personality has like changed so much in such a short period of time. Like mocking some guy at the window, knocking this over to try and cause a bit of a scene. So you go woo at the, at the camera. A bit weird. Uh, <laughs> smooth, smooth as Do you want a wardrobe box? Wow. Um... No. Feline sounds like she is ready to throw herself into one of those ceiling fans. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so uncomfortable. I'm probably just gonna put everything in a suitcase. That's so depressing. Let me get like a... Wow. God, I'm, I'm just wet being in the presence of these two very clear lovebirds who are giving each other hickeys and writing love letters to each other even whilst breaking up. You know, I'm... The, the, the chemistry, it's 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 lit, guys. It's 90. Uh, yeah, this is really awkward. Like, like, I'm sorry, we went straight from I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't know why anyone would think I need a care to like, here's my ex-girlfriend driving me around so I can do my chores to try and move out of the fucking house. <laughs> okay. 
I should probably get a tall one because I have like dresses, dresses. upon yeah. dresses. Yeah. So what do you want to be? Celine <laughs> sounds like she hates her existence. Just, yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ, fully blink twice. Well, first you get on camera, and then blink twice if you need help. Get two of those. Two of them? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you sound so depressed. Oh. I never felt thought I'd feel sorry for a disembodied arm, but like, I'm, I'm getting there. Are, are, are we doing this again? They have like TV boxes. I literally can read, thank you. Do you think we're gonna get those, or do you think that we do could just store those? it? Uh, we can probably just store it. They should have like a, put a blanket over it. Yeah, they should have uh, moving blankets. Okay. Or actually, we can just put those in the car. Right. This is so awkward. Probably need like an extra large. I'm just probably gonna skip this if it's just stay. If it, we keep going at this level of like awkward mumbling, I, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through it. We literally got so many boxes. We have some in the trunk, in the back seat. Hey, we got foam. We have foam, you guys. It is. Oh, I can't even say bittersweet. It's just really sad. Um, next stop though is we're going to the Walmart because I want to get like a visual representation of how much weight I want to lose. Um, oh my God, we're doing this fucking gimmick again. Weren't you meant to be putting like hearts in a jar or something like that for every pint? And then when someone asks you in a Q&A how many hearts in the in the jar, you're like, what? What are you? I don't even know what you're talking about. I was like, oh, clear. okay, so you've forgotten that one already. Before I move, so. I already thought about I it. I weighed it. myself today. I was shocked. I only gained a couple pounds. Like, my body. Uh, I, okay, firstly, arm, cottage cheese, everything I got. I don't fucking believe you. Shrapnel fucking buttons. I don't believe you. We'll just cover all those points initially. But when you know she's fucking telling you nonsense when she's like, I weighed myself. And it's like, I only gained like a couple pounds. And it's like, bro, when you're 540 pounds, a couple pounds could literally be fucking 20 pounds. Can, bro, can we just not? It's not It's not like you're 100 pounds and you gain 5 pounds or something like that. G give us numbers. If you were that confident, you would give us numbers. It's weird. Like, I could be on track and gain the same amount of weight I gained after this last week of just eating. But, that, but that's because you're not on track. <laughs> Guys, I can literally be eating on track and I will gain as much as when I cheat. It's like, yeah, it's almost like you're never on track. I'm going to draw your attention back to my previous conversation about being in the middle of the fucking desert and there being no train tracks all around. And I'm like, bro, I don't know what you're doing with that train, but have a good fucking time. I'm going to draw your attention back to that fucking whole thing. Because, bro, you have never once been on fucking track. Eating all the junk. I don't get it. But, yeah, yeah so we're going to go to Walmart. I haven't been to Walmart in forever. I'm usually a Target girly, but I figured let's just go to Walmart. She, she really, it's, like I said, it's, a, it's quite a change in personality, isn't it? She's really trying to portray like a really over the top bubblier it's it reminds me of like her earlier videos a lot more than like all of her recent content where she just fe feel itself, bleh, felt like she just wanted to set fire to herself Walmart today. and yes for some reason i just lost the ability to speak at some point during that sentence and I'm, it, ah, that's staying in so i've actually never been to this walmart before so i'm a little yeah. lost Right now I'm in the PJs. This is super cute. Oh, do you know what? The one thing you needed? More clothes. After that clothing haul, get rid of a thon where you did it for like six weeks in a row. So six weeks, six vlogs in a row and you got rid of a total of like five and a half items. I really believe you need to buy more clothing. Um, I looked at the jewelry and it's the same jewelry that they've had since it's five Walmart. years ago. So it's Walmart. I'm good. Is it really gonna be that big a change? It's Walmart. Oh my God, are we getting a little fucking journal? Ah. <laughs> Yep, I am in the journal aisle. Yep, I know. So and Celine picked this up. Okay. That's weird. It's kind of creepy, ain't it? I don't like it. Really? Oh, uh, Celine needs to get a journal. She can get a journal, she can fill it out, and then she can auction off to the highest bidder, and we'll see what reaction channels start a bidding war to try and get her journal to read online. <laughs> Look at it. It's, I don't know, it's weird. That's the only thing we have in the car. I love, Feline gets, Feline picks something out for her and says, look at this. Oh, it's pretty cool. And then she's like, I don't know, it's weird. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> Immediately just leans away from it and starts talking about this random shit instead. I, Feline, I know you picked out a journal for me, but uh, it's fucking weird. I don't like it. Bye. <laughs> Feline got a shirt. I was looking at the planners. I don't need one. I was looking at the journals. I think you need I don't a plan need one. your life. But I'll still look. I'll still look. I have to go to the arts and crafts section for what I'm really looking for. <gasps> oh, these are cute. I might get these pastel pens. They're literally, they're just pens. Like I said, she's trying to, she's trying to portray herself as a lot more expressive over the top, um, which makes for more interesting content, I, I guess. I guess it's better than watching her like kind of awkwardly just walk around and mumble at shit. But uh, 
yeah, it's, it's it's quite clearly an act, so it's a bit it's a bit jarring when the next thing we're gonna have is probably her in the vlog going, oh, the world's so bleak without Feline. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, wait, give me that furry journal right, right oh behind my you. Good. <laughs> Look at <it>. You know. <laughs> see that see that journal you got me, Feline? That's very similar. Uh, it was awful and gross. See the one I picked? It's fucking awesome. <laughs> God, she hates Feline. <laughs> she fucking hates Feline so much. Uh, once again, strong independent woman being driven around by by her mommy uh, taking her shopping. Because I'm freaking 10 years old. Yeah. No, I'm not getting that. Okay, so I am in the art aisle. Is there just a fucking cross? Was that just a cross? Where is it? Is <laughs> that just a cross? What the fuck is that? Bro, bro's just chilling there, having a good time. Amber's going to nail herself to it there any second. <laughs> Why is that there? That's so weird. So I am in the art aisle, and I had a few ideas, like putting balls in a G cup. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> then I thought of maybe adhesive gemstones okay. on paper, but I think my final decision oh my is- oh, is oh, sorry, this is the fucking nonsense weight loss thing. Maybe you should like put crosses on the walls. <laughs> you should put crosses on the wall. By, by the end of it, it'll look like a conjuring two house. Just all these fucking crosses on the fucking wall. It'll be real easy to fucking sell your apartment after that. <laughs> just walk around and say, this is the Jesus room. <laughs> Guaranteed not, not possessed. I'm going to get some of these craft sticks. Okay. You guys will see I what I mean. So I'm, I did get some journals. Because I've been journaling a lot, so I got those too. Literally, like, I don't know, but fucking 30 seconds ago in, in real time, you said you didn't need any journals. And here we are, okay. I'm going to get this guy. I got oh, some Sharpies okay. and I'm getting three packs of these <clears throat> colorful pens. I see, I like that kind of tip on a pen. I do like a kind of tip on a pen, but like, I wouldn't, what, why the fuck do you need three packets of them? Like how much journaling are you fucking doing? Pens and I think that's it. Okay. So we've been home for a couple of hours. Yeah. <laughs> my hair is. Yeah, for, for once, for once my hair looks ridiculous. Seen better days. Mm, um, but I put some. Ha, that's a that's a discussion for the ages. Has it seen better days though? I I'm not actually sure. It is like a constant level of ugh, kind of for like the past at least three months. I think I think I think probably longer. If we're being honest with ourselves, probably longer. I'm just gonna go with three months of just like ugh, every single time I see her fucking hair. Um, like. Ding ding. What do you call them? Gyoza. 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 <laughs> I'm not good at pronouncing that word. Sorry. Or most, but you know whatever. I have that issue too. It's called like a fucking awful accent. Pot stickers, dumplings, whatever you want to call them. And the air fryer. And they got so crispy on the outside. Well, just on the top. Like the bottom doesn't really look that crispy. And um, it's just like a Thai vegetable type. And on top, I put a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of mm -hmm. sriracha. So okay. that's what I'm about to eat. But are you not... Good, good picture. Are you not going to dip them in cottage cheese and mustard? Like, come on. You're letting the team down here. That's a very crispy sounding gyoza. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh my god, is, is this going to be 10 out of 10? Is she going to come again and then tell Feline that vanilla's better than chocolate again randomly? Oh you have god. to try one. Everything you wanted and more? Everything I wanted and more. Mm -hmm. Start using that. Unlike our relationship, you fucking bitch. Fucking bitch, think you're fucking better than me. Think you fucking why? I know what I'm fucking... <laughs> That's my, my my canon my canon reading of their script after every fucking scene is just them just have a little slobbering match with each other. Air fryer, folks. Okay. I know it's sitting in your pantry, in your closet, mm -hmm. in a cabinet somewhere. Get it out and use it. Okay. Do you know what also might be sitting in your closet somewhere? A treadmill. You might want to get out and use it as well. <laughs> Go for the oh, easy yeah. ones, boys. I'm in a sassy fucking mood today. That's perfect texture. Is it? I've used the air fryer twice. It today. really because it really looks like you're having a struggle to bite through that. Because aren't you the woman who said you struck like you, you get like painful teeth when eating bread, and it, it looks like you're really having a chomp to get fucking through that. I used it earlier to do a chicken sausage because I had my like uh -huh. veggie cottage cheese mustard moment. And you didn't show us you deep throating that? Oh my god, were your feeders really sad? Have you got any angry emails yet? Oh, that's why you're doing the gyoza thing. Is that what you are you are you making up for it? Is, is what would I call the guy? Was he Jeff or John? Is it John? I think I, I think I named him John. I think John, John, maybe he appreciates this, but he probably doesn't want a vegetable one. He probably wants like a big old beefy one or something like that. And he probably wants some more sauce. So that's my advice for next time. John wants some more sauce in the gyoza when you're deep throat nuts. All right, you guys. So we.
Oh my Christ, you look horrifying. <laughs> oh my God. Are we gonna get yet another story about the fucking lighting? Holy shit. We haven't done P.O. Box in a little bit. So oh no. Oh my God, no. Oh God, I thought this had died with that relationship. <laughs> I don't care. Oh my God, I don't care. I know. Didn't she say she was closing the P.O. Box? She said that ages ago. I guess it just never materialized. Do it. If you guys- 100%. 100% the reason she fucking said she was closing the P.O. Box was because she wants it- Because I'm closing it soon. She wanted people to rush out and send a whole bunch of stuff before it closed. That is definitely why. She's just tricking people into sending her more fucking free shit. If you guys want to send me anything, here is my P.O. Box. I'm going to keep it until I move. So if you do send me anything, please do not send me any food. Okay. See, once again, why are you including this? Because you said that- like, you said this made it worse. Also, you don't have binge eating disorder, so I don't know what the f food is going to trigger because you're not going to trigger a binge because you don't have binge eating disorder. Also, you're not on track right now anyway, so like, okay, just fine. And then she also sent me a shell from Ireland. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Katie, honestly. Katie, what the fuck? <laughs> Katie, the fuck? We all, we all sat down. Every fucking Irish person sat down. We agreed. We were not sending her fucking anything. Certainly not a fucking shell, bro. That is our major... Why? <laughs> like, that's weird. Like, we have loads of shells, but they're like, shit. It's not like it's like a, a conch or something like that. It's not like a cool shell you might find in the tropics. It's a, a shitty shell. Kitty, I'm disappointed in you. I also want to know how her name is spelled. Because Amber at the start said, Kitty, I hope I'm saying that right. Like... How do you, how else do you say, spell Katie? I'm like, I'm thinking of like weird Irish ways to spell it. And I'm not really thinking of like a lot. Especially not the ones that I would pronounce as Katie. So I'm really curious what the fuck her name is spelled as. Like I'm, I'm just, Katie, if you watch this, if you're actually a secret hater and are really a big fan of Girl World Island, spell your name for me so I can see wh how the fuck it was actually meant to be said. Please. All right, you guys, so it's oh, getting pretty fantastic. late, and my camera is on the verge of dying. So oh I have to put God. a new battery in there, charge this one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, which means you couldn't possibly vlog anymore, because, you know, once a new battery goes into it, it, it deletes all the memory. I think that's what I heard about about batteries. Uh, fuck, was this a better one than the last time? Oh, well, yeah, I think it was better than the last time. Last time was just fucking dire in so many ways. This, it, it, it feels so passive-aggressive between her and Wifey. So awkward, so stilted, but in a different way than it had previously. It feels like, like, Feline really doesn't want to be there. Um, the therapy update was fucking totally pointless. The buying movie supplies was literally the most pointless shit ever. It is her just doing it because she thinks that if she, like, shows it, she can write it off in her taxes. We've, we've seen that a million times before. Nothing surprising. But, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Hope you have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.